Welcome to the Conservation Commission meeting of August 22nd. Uh, we have uh, via Zoom and also local. Um, so uh, we have a quorum. I'll open the meeting. Uh, do we have any public comments? You slipped it in. Do you have some minutes you want to do? Yes. Um, I reviewed the minutes that were given to me at the last meeting after Jane reviewed it. <laughs> so they were a little different than Diane's original minutes that I looked at. So I'm just going to comment on the ones that they both put their reviews in. Okay. And which date is, are we talking about? June 13th. Okay. The only comments I have um, relate to, on the third page, 28 Camp Road, the cease and desist order. And in the, after the third paragraph, um, where Mr. Buckley stated that Mr. Trinity had conducted three different activities out there to try to uh, restore it. And then Bill said he suggested coming up with a plan that Mr. Ms. Pierce could approve would allow construction to continue. We were going back and forth with who has done something and then we had a season to says order. Therefore, to stop the discussion, I suggested that Mr. Trini stops the construction for at least a day, come up with a plan with his consultant, secondly, present the plan to Jane as soon as possible, and if she approves it, after a day, the construction could resume. Mm -hmm. And the only other thing he asked is, could he just finish doing the roofing on his existing house, which we allowed. It's not in here that we're the ones that suggested this was a resolution to the discussions that were going back and forth and going nowhere. So I just wanted to bring that up, that we're the ones who presented that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that's, I remember saying it. I don't do word for word minutes. I do a summary of the discussion. So the end product is the same. If you have words to insert, I want to add them. a sentence, you can add a sentence, but I'm not putting this whole, he went, she said, they said, they said, no. I'm not going to that detail. The mm -hmm. thing is that between what Mr. Buckley said and then the next paragraph, Mr. Trinini stated he would Triani. call and stuff like that. We're the ones that said, look, you got a cease and desist order. We have to have some type of activity in response to that. And we were very, I was very specific about that, feeling that that would actually resolve the discussion. And okay, how, how do you want the minutes changed then? I think we should reflect that in between those. That the resolution was presented by the commission. In, res in response for him to uh, um, comply with his formal cease and desist order that was issued via Jane. It doesn't say in here that there was a, that. <clears throat> so resolution was presented by the Conservation Commission. <clears throat> uh, how about the Conservation Commission suggested a resol presented a resolution that would allow Mr. Triani to comply. I don't know what you're saying, actually. You should probably just say what you want to say. Or write it in there and Diana or Diana can add it or I can add it. Um, was the end result the same? Yes. Well, the end result was that Mr. In this next paragraph, yeah. Mr. Trinini said that he would do Triani. the following things. It's, it's His name is Triani. Triani. Mr. <laughs> Triani stated that he would do the following things. But I want to make it clear that we emphasize, we issued a cease and desist order, and that we need to have some type of reaction from the applicant. And we presented him That's to why stop they were the at the meeting, because they were issued a cease and desist order. That's why they were there. It's true. Well, 
that's why they were at the meeting because they were right. issued a cease and right. desist order. The, that's why they came with this presentation. Right, but the back and forth conversation was coming. Write up whatever you wanted to say and I'll make it say whatever you wanted to say, but move on. What else you got? <laughs> Otherwise, um, I had no other comments on the June okay. 13th. I just needed to want to emphasize the commission. Well, why don't you um, give Diana, write up what you want to add to it, and we will uh, approve the minutes as your amendment. Okay. I can type it up and bring it over. Okay. I. Next set of minutes. Wait, we have it. Oh. Okay. Any questions or more discussions on that? No, nope, not for me. Okay. All in favor of June thirteenth as modified? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. That's it. June thirteenth is settled as amended. July 11th, Dave wasn't at the meeting, and Jane already edited them, so. Right. I wasn't here at that, that meeting uh, that concerned 81 South Street, Rock Hill Cemetery. Um, but, okay. And I, I just, you know, have to go by anybody else that was here at the meeting. All right. Well, hang on to that for a bit. Well, Jane, Jane, you already read those. I, re I reviewed okay. them. She reviewed them, so approve those, and then we can caught up I mean everyone's been sent a copy yes okay you want to go ahead and approve the July 11th then and be done with it I'll make a motion for that Dave I move that we uh, approve the July 11th 2022 minutes second questions I'll approve I Hi. So be. All right. In 7:05, we have a pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, Wetlands Protection Act, and Foxborough's Wetland Protection Bylaw, Chapter 267, the Conservation Commission will open a public meeting on Monday, August 22nd, 2022. A lot of twos in there. At 7:05 p.m. in the Gala Meeting Room, Foxborough Town Hall, 40 South Street and via Zoom on a request for determination of applicability filed by John Glossa for the construction of a new septic system to replace an existing cesspool at 2 Brookside Drive, Assessor's Map 112, Parcel 036, within 100 feet of a wetland resource area. Application available for public inspection at the Conservation Office. Joe Lynch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Do we have anybody representing anybody via Zoom? Hmm. Table it till later in the night. Hopefully, somebody will be okay coming. Rebecca, would you like to make a motion to table this until? Uh, sure, I'll make a motion to table um, the new filing for two Brookside Drive. Just replacement of the subject. Map 112, parcel 036, uh, until further. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, 710, um, we've got the water main upgrade. Do you have the order of conditions, Jane? I had something else that was occupying me in big way today. Um, I have I've submitted to each of you the first two pages, no, page two and page three, which talk about all of the different plans and documents. It includes, uh, you know, this has not been closed yet. What's that? This hasn't been closed yet. No, it did, they didn't have a number. Because they didn't have a file number. Right, and I'm wondering if they're going to speak. I don't know if they will. So in any case, today, at the end of the day, I got a response to DEP, DEP comments, which I believe I've given you a copy. Um, so I guess the DEP made some comments. They responded to them. I've added that to the um, draft order of conditions, but probably 
accepting Assistant. that document first would be the thing to do. She's here. Okay. Oh, she is here. Good. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, good. We have somebody. I'm here. Yeah, just in case you had any additional questions, but DEP did issue um, two comments that we responded to um, that should have been in that document that we I sent this uh, evening. Um, can you get a little bit closer to the mic, please? Or oh, yes, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yep, so DEP gave us a file number, um, but they did have um, just two comments that we responded to. Um, I sent a document to Jane this evening. Uh, I'm just reading it now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah, it was essentially they had asked us to address the stream crossing standards, um, which I did to the best of our ability, um, just with the nature of how we're going over the streams, the stream crossing standards don't entirely apply, um, just because we're not really changing the crossings at all. Um, and then they also asked us to note any bank impact um, upon discussion with the project manager. It sounds like there is bank impact. Um, it is less than a single linear foot. Um, <laughs> which we are, are hoping that, I mean, we consider it negligible. We are, we are hoping you consider it negligible, um, but obviously we'll do um, whatever you need from us, but it is under a, a linear foot. Wow. Oh, and one thing that I did notice in your, <clears throat> in your order of conditions, you cited, um, you cited 310 CMR 1024 as the exempt activity, but that's for coastal areas. Oh, so um, I yes. use 10.533D, and I think I added another one to it as well. Um, okay, yeah. For Because what I did is I, I basically took the West, um, West Road Dam project. I used that particular one, and then I'm taking things out of it because it, it's similar, but it's a lot more complicated. And I haven't taken everything. I've taken a lot of things out. This is, to me, a, a basic maintenance or utility exemption upgrade type of thing. And I did not fill out the inland resource area impacts yet, but limited project 1053-3D and 1053-3F, which has to do with roadways. Sound good? Sounds good. OK. So can we close the hearing then? I think so, yeah. I don't okay. have any problems. Since we have a file number. Uh-huh. Rebecca, would you like to close that? Um, Want me to make it? One? Sure. sure. I move that we uh, close the uh, public hearing for DEP 157-619 relative to water main upgrade Sprague Road to Witch Pond Water Treatment Plant. Do I hear a second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None? Thank you. All right, so we got that closed. Now then, do you have a signature page you want us to? I do, and first, um, you should probably make findings. If, if you look at the project description, it's got the description, basically from there, um, Appendix A. And delineation, site specific delineation as presented is, is accurate. Uh, limited project, uh, you need to make a findings. The findings that yeah. go here okay. You need to make a finding that limited project, um, the proposed project complies with 310 CMR 1053 3D and 1053 3F. And that's basically, basically it. I have a few more things to fill in. This is um, pretty much a boilerplate order of conditions. Um, nothing fancy or special. And I'm, I'm going to look back at the old, um, an old highway department um, 
order of conditions for maintenance and just see if there's anything I'm missing. But I don't think there is. They're just basically going to open it up, <coughs> replace and fill. And they're going to leave the old pipe in place um, until the new pipe is in place and working until the new pipe is ready to roll. Okay. And also, um, <coughs> one thing I did say in here was, as discussed, I think I put as, let me look. Uh, I said something like, as discussed during the meeting, because of two fernal pools on Sprague Road, that, and because it's a, it's going to be a year-long, a summer-long project, if they, they should start at the Cedar Street end, and we talked about that during yes. the hearing, so yeah. that's fine, right? That won't cause any problems, will it? No, I don't believe so. I think we made note of that Good. last meeting, and I think that's how we well, plan to do it. I included it in the project description. Um, yeah. So, and, and I might put something about um, construction sequence starting at, I'm not sure. But I don't think, I think that's really the only specific thing. And it would be nice okay. if the um, sides of the road on Sprague Road could be stabilized with grass seeds or something like that because they've been they were dug up a few years back and they're still not very well established okay <clears throat> I'll make that note. but I have um, because like I said I ran into a snag today um, I have the signature page okay and um, I have the two main pages that I will be have changed and will be um, changing as far as the resource area impacts. I just have to look at what they put in their notice of intent. All right. So, David, you want to show a motion on the findings first and then? Relative to the findings of the water main uh, upgrade DEP 157-619, that the areas that the following interests in the Wetlands Protection Act, uh, public water supply, private water supply, ground water supply, fisheries, storm damage prevention, prevention of pollution, protection of wildlife habitat, and flood control. And that in addition to, there is a project description, resource area delineation. Number three is a limited project, 310 CMR 1053-3D and 1053 3F and the notice of jurisdiction plus part of the findings include the inland resource area impacts that need to be completed and any other conditions or alterations that jane has mentioned that she is trying to finish up with all that second discussion all in favor aye, aye. Right. Opposed? None. All right. With that, I'd like to make a motion to assign the order of conditions. And we'll need at least one more person to come in and sign it. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get. I can. Rich, can I can be come in. Okay. You want to make a motion to assign the order of conditions? Sure. I make a motion to sign the order of conditions for DEP 157-619. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. All right. Let me get the page. That'll cost you two I cents. <laughs> Look at <clears throat> Mr. Lynch, yes. what are you in for, sir? Um, a certificate of compliance. 
of Wyman Village. Wyman Village. Oh, okay. All right. Bill Buckley says life is good, and he sent me pictures and information about the vernal pool requirements. Um, they've got bounds and that kind of thing. And if you want to give everybody a, something on vernal pools, I could, I could give you to you. Because <laughs> uh. it did say that that was one of the things you were going to do, but that's okay. What street is this off of? Is this the... Uh... This is Wyman Village. It's 40B off of Constitution. Community Way. Community, I was Community Way, okay. All right. So it was done. They, um, somebody's selling now, so they need a certificate of compliance. No. Okay, now, we did not get... We got involved, but they... Wasn't the Zoning Board of Appeals? Right, Didn't but they, they had to all? come back for infrastructure or something? Yeah, they under the Wetlands a... Protection Act, uh, the commission had jurisdiction of some stormwater in the wetland at the front and, <coughs> and that kind of oh, thing. I thought, I thought the ZBA took all of that away from us. They well, took the local. You have to do it stuff. under the state. They, they're in charge of the local. They wear many hats. Yes. But we still, yeah. we and the Board of Health still need to have review the filings. I believe the Board of Health does, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So where is this located? It's up off Community, go up Cocasset Street, <coughs> right before you go under the railroad bridge. That oh, up there in the rock pile? No, it's not a rock pile. Well, there oh, is a rock pile up yeah, there. They yeah, would, they would do a lot of blasting up in that area, so. Uh, there's a couple of perched vernal pools up in there. So, are the vernal pools still working? Yeah, as far as I know, there's been okay. no activity on them. Um, they're dry now. Oh, I'll bet they are. I think everything dry. is right everything's now. Dry. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping to drive around today and take pictures of all the dry. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Uh, now, is this a certificate of compliance for the entire project then? Yeah. For the infrastructure. For the infrastructure. But the it just does cover the whole. It covers the whole project. Yeah, not just this one. Um, not just one, one house. house that they're looking yeah. to get rid of. So it's an encumbrance on all of the homeowner's deeds. And this is removing that encumbrance under the um, Wetlands Protection Act. Okay. And so, like I said, um, he's. Um, Mr. Lynch submitted um, an as-built plan, and then Bill Buckley wrote something saying, you know, life is good, it, it looks the same. And then I was looking at it thinking, well, I don't see anything about the continuing um, conditions about vernal pools. And I asked him, because I hadn't had a chance to pop out there yet, if that had been done, and he sent me, you know, a whole lot of data and information. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm confident. You're confident. I'm comfortable with okay. it. Okay. So some of that would get recorded, the obligation about the vernal pools? The ongoing conditions, yes. So the, the uh, conditions in perpetuity, so that's more like uh, it's not really attached to the deeds. Mm. So it's, it's sort of superfluous, but um, it's, we have the information anyway, so. So is the infrastructure going to be the towns? No, it's, it's, it's all private. All private? Yeah. So I will make a motion to issue a certificate of compliance for 157535. I'll make a motion to um, submit a certificate of compliance for DEP 157-535. Second it. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All righty. So like I said, as an ongoing condition, I put the ones in perpetuity, and then I actually printed out number 58, the vernal pool 25 foot no disturbed zone, which was agreed to. So Joe, this will get us three signatures, and Rich will come in tomorrow to sign the fourth. Okay. And then I can email you afternoon morning, afternoon. Rich, when you're available. Uh, tomorrow uh, in the morning. Okay. So if you no, come by in the afternoon. <clears throat> Thank you all. Have a good Thank evening.
Uh, we have a um, letter for the warden and et cetera. Dave, you were the, down there looking at it more recently than I. You want to make some comments? Um, two weeks ago, I visited Kersey Point to follow up uh, our discussion with uh, Jim Kaplan, uh, the tree and park supervisor, with regards to trying to get some maintenance of the Kersey Point parking area and the actual conservation area leading up to the water. And there were three of us there, uh, my, originally three of us, myself, Rich, and Bob with Jim. And we noted the different dead trees that were a hazard. And there was a recent blowdown tree between us and the neighboring property that was a significant size. Um, and then we noted also some other invasives all around and including on the, the point itself, the poison ivy and the other invasives. And he said that he would take care of it. His crew would take care of a lot of the invasives. A lot of the knotweed is gone on our property. It's coming back too, but at least he cut it down. He also cleaned out the drain that sits up on the road, which was totally blocked and covered, um, which is going to help uh, our town engineer, Lance, right? Yeah. And because he, he has an idea of how he can try to control the runoff that's coming into our parking lot and going down uh, to the reservoir on the extreme rings. And then when we went on to the point itself, we noted that there was a seat there that had ewes uh, that overwhelmed the area that were planted a long time ago. And he recommended that, you know, they're just totally out of control. Trimming them would not do any good. It just would look worse. So he removed those. And that area really looks nice. Um, and then he took care of the maple tree that sits in the middle of the point that we left it to his discretion. He had three different ideas, depending what he saw when they got up there in the bucket, that it really needed to be addressed. It was significantly rotten, but was a habitat. Uh, so that was a discussion we had, and he took care of that. It looks nice. It looks a lot safer and looks even healthier. Um, so I recommended that we recognize his effort and his crew in handling all this, especially the some of the dead trees were dangerous. There were yeah. three of them that were sitting that could go easily on any car sitting on the parking lot. So that's what I just wanted to say. And we did discuss maybe twice a year if he could help out in doing maintenance, just like he did, mainly mowing. Yeah. So, so with that <clears throat> recommendation to send a letter to him and copy to his boss, uh, Chris Gallagher, to Bill Keegan, Board of Selectmen, and um, sign it, all the members sign it and send it along. Uh, do you have one copy? Okay, to sign. All right. Mm -hmm. Oops, I'm sorry. They're all the same. Do we have a vote? Probably not. Okay. All, all in favor of signing the letter for the tree work or the maintenance? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. All right. We have a vote. Jane, you want to get into this? Uh, Cease and desist problem. Or? Want to do Sousa Avenue first? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sousa Avenue is this. This property is um, right next to the first property that was built in River Ridge before it was River Ridge. So it's the second house on the left. Okay. And it doesn't. It's basically encumbered by the. Um, 
infrastructure order of conditions, but it's not complete there yet, but they, um, to remove, to, to give a partial certificate of compliance for SUSE, um, will allow them to buy it, sell, sell it? it, sell it. Okay. And it's, it's not really, I mean, it's not like it had a separate, um, notice of intent or anything like that because it, it wasn't particularly jurisdictional at all. Okay. Is this the one up by the state? Uh, facility? No, this is off of um, Belcher Road. Belcher Road. Yeah, but there's a, a group Ridge. home there. Is yeah, it? there's a group home there. The first building that. First building on the left, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. That's how it was. It was built to be that, so I'm assuming that's what it is. But. Okay. So this is for that house? No, it's the next one. The next one. The okay. next okay. one so after next that one. on the left. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Even though it was out of jurisdiction, there was a stream that runs just yep. down, oh, I guess, I along the boundary that. line. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well aware. The boundary line would be the house that's farther down. Yeah. It, they don't abut that at all. Okay. <clears throat> this, is, this is just, just administrative, basically. Administrative. So I want to make a motion to issue a partial certificate of compliance. One five seven five seven six. I'll make a motion to issue a partial certificate of compliance for D D P number one five seven dash five seven six. There's a second. second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Alrighty. You want to do Brookside? Oh yeah, Brookside. Hmm? Brookside well, is have, it's it's a replacement. Do we have the signature page? We did. Oh, we have the whole thing. It's, oh, what are you talking about? Oh, for the Sousa. For Sousa. Oh, yeah. Details. Sorry. Yeah. While we're signing that, go ahead. Get... <clears throat> Next on your little list. Yeah, the Brookside Drive. Um, this is a replacement septic system, so the commission. Okay, but we've tabled that so far, so. You have, but they're not here yet, and yeah. you have to make your decision within 21 days. And we don't meet again until September um, 19th because of Labor Day. So it's an oversight on the consultant's part, I'd say, but I reviewed it, and the commission's only real jurisdiction for septic systems that are approved under the border. By, by the Board of Health under Title V. All right, before, all right, let's take it off the table so we can discuss it. Oh, now. all right. <clears throat> Robert, Robert's rules. Yeah, uh, well, somebody has to do them. Did I take it off the table? Sure, do I, I've never done that before. Oh, so do I just motion say, to make a motion? Okay. Yep. I make a motion to uh, take off. Take it off the table. Take off the table <laughs> for, um, <laughs> to Brookside Drive, the uh, replacement of the septic system. Do I hear a second? Second. <clears throat> second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? None. Okay, now the, <clears throat> now do you know, my only question is, is this, I know it's very close to the wetlands. Is it a fast system or is it a standard system? He just said that he had uh, sent in original plans and then he did some changes. Uh, Board of Health recommended, so he gave me revised plans, and that was a lot. Okay. Um, I don't see where it's noted whether it is a, a standard or a fast. So I was, I would be hoping that it would be a fast system for. Doesn't say. Anything is better than a failed system. Oh yes, oh absolutely. I certainly agree with that. Um, so <clears throat> that's the reason why I was hoping somebody would be in. Uh, but if the Board of Health approved it, it's 
Yeah, you're really your only real your only real jurisdiction yeah. is the keeping silt out of the wetlands. Yeah, lines. yeah. So, so what's They're that? happy. We're happy. Yeah. Okay. So we can issue a negative determination then and yes and what i did was i i put two six and six a because two says work described is within an area subject to protection under the act but will not remove fill dredge or alter the area therefore said work does not require the filing of a notice of intent provided that work is completed in compliance with the following conditions i just put before beginning any work on the proposed septic repair slash replacement silt fencing shall be placed along the limit of work line and then six basically just says that, you know, it, it is a, it's subject to review under the bylaw. And 6A says boundaries are not approved, okay. reviewed or approved. Is this near the 206 East Street? East Street, across the street. Across the street? Yeah. That's the yeah. New River yeah. Crossing there? Yep. Do you keep the signature page? Yeah, I've got the signature page. So, I guess you need to make a vote motion for de negative determination. I move we did. We make a motion for a negative determination for <coughs> two Brookside Drive concerning a, inst a repair of a septic system. Okay, second. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 Do you want to do the dam first? What? Dam. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the West Street Dam mm -hmm. dewatering bypass design. Yep. Um, their um, representative talked to me about this or sent me emails about it, and I forward them to you. It's Greek to me. Basically, what they initially were going to do was. Um, discharge the water by gravity feed um, to an area that was not within the limit of work. So I asked her, whatever she does, discharge to an area that is within the limit of work and also clean water should be routed around um, and pumped out into the river below because otherwise it'll could cause issues. Okay. And this is, this was the final. And like I said, it's Greek to me, but if the representative and the town engineer think it's a good thing, I don't see why not, because this isn't something that's really okay. my bailiwick. So do we have to do any? No, basically just say, this looks good. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't think you need to make a vote or anything like that. She, it's okay. just like um, they wanted to ensure that the commission was comfortable with what was being done. All right. So I think they've got a pump system by the actual um, crossing that will pump it into the lower part of the river. And then the other one is, they. I think they said, this is teeny, you can't read it, but I think oh, it wow. says they're going <laughs> to. I couldn't read this. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to dump it into yeah. a previously disturbed area where the old um, mill discharged, mill. perhaps? Oh, yeah. Okay. The old raceway? No, yes. there was a mill. Right. This this area here. Um. And it, you know, it is outside of the limit of work, but it's in a previously disturbed yeah. location. Um, you can see the wall. Yeah, okay. The first one, they wanted to cut all through the wetlands and bring it down in a strange place to gravity feed it. Okay. And then have a backup of pumping, but this here is going to be a little bit different. More efficient. It sounds like it. Yeah, it looks like they're going to protect some existing trees. From That'd be nice. Yeah. That she just area. blew up the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did. Good for you. Just zoomed in so I could read it. <laughs> I forwarded it to all of you. Yes, but she took a picture of it and then. Explained. I know. I know. Yeah. She's she's smart. Yeah, technology. Watch out for her. She's really smart. <laughs> All right. So we don't have to make an official vote on that, or I don't think that you do. I just wanted to get your way in. Okay. 
All righty. Now you want to discuss your fun part of the day? Yes, it was lovely. As you may recall, last year we received a tip that um, there was a bulldozer that was clearing the backyard on 20 Ridge Road, right down to the water. Um, I was on vacation, so I asked if one of the commissioners would go there, and Rich said he would do it, and uh, the owner became, threatened him, basically. So I left, filed a police report, um, and then, let's see. Uh, on the master list, it showed that 8-12-1989, they had a cease and desist. So then there was a site visit on 7-8-21, and um, several of us went with a police escort, and nobody came to the door. And so I put the letter in the garage with a couple of brochures about wetlands and stormwater, and then sent him a notice by certified mail. Still never heard from him. And today I received a call from an anonymous person who said that he, he was uh, working, at, there was ongoing work in the actual um, wetland area. And there was, the resident was concerned about his disturbing cadmium or something like that. So um, once again, we went down there with our police escort and we went up to the house when she arrived, um, Rebecca and Rich and I, and we knocked on the door and rang the bell and the dog barked and nothing. Um, so we were standing there a bit, giving him a chance to come and all of a sudden in comes a woman who drove down the driveway, pressed the garage door opener, the garage door opened, she drove in and then it went down again. So we rang the bell a few more times and nothing. Um, so we observed it from an abutter's property. We asked permission to go on their property. Um, and we rely on people who to, to tell us about things like this because this is an egregious violation. Um, there's I received a picture of um, a man that's reported to be living, the one living at 20 Ridge Road, who actually was digging out the silt in the little cove there. Pro apparently the water's low now, which, surprise, surprise. And um, it's pretty significant. And then there are, that there's vegetation along the edge of the wetland that certainly looks like it has been hit by glyphosate because it's that bright orange that's the telltale. So I am, this is, a, this is really bad. We are going to have to go after him. So if you make sure that it's restored. So if you look at your enforcement restoration administrative procedure, the first thing you do is you review commission records, you respond swiftly and consistently, consistently, which we did. And then step three, you gather evidence because the commission bears a burden of proof in an enforcement case to prove each element of the violation. And then informal contact, which was not successful last year. Or this year. Or this year, or via certified mail last year. Oh, and as a matter of fact, it was really kind of humorous that the information I left in their garage door handle last year was still there, which <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. Um, so we sent the violation letter and I, I think I tried to call him. I don't know if his number was in the phone book because I don't recall <clears throat> talking to him and I did try, I thought. Um, Enforcement order. So failing an adequate response to step six violation letter or for serious violators, commission may issue an enforcement order under the act in lieu of an addition or an addition to an enforcement order under the bylaw. Um, basically an enforcement order directs restoration rather than 
um, filing plans and a notice of intent because you're not giving permission for them to do the work. You're telling them they must restore it. There's no appeal or anything of that. Um, so it, this is going to be requiring immediate action. So, and I, I didn't, I've just been doing my homework and looking, doing my due diligence. Um, but in an emergency, and I, I presume this is an emergency because rumor has it that he is going to bring machinery down there. He was moving things by wheelbarrow and doing it by hand. But um, this is not something that can be allowed. It's just people see it, and it's not okay. So um, once I do my homework, I know I took, I have my little book here on enforcement, but it's from 2009, mm. and I know I took a class recently on it. I'm just going to double check what Mr. McGregor told us to do. Okay. Um, Attorney McGregor. Um, and we're going to have to go from there. I'm assuming I may need... I don't know. I'm assuming I may need town council's help. Yes. I, I, are you keeping Mr. Keegan appraised of it? I haven't sent this to him yet because I want to make sure all my duckies are in a row okay. before I bother him. All right. But I would definitely get him. Let him at least know what's, what's coming. Sure. Uh, I copied Paige, so hopefully okay, Paige if she thinks it's important enough. Oh, well, I'm going to talk to her go probably. Go up the chain, Paige, Michael, and Bill. Mm -hmm. And um, then when they won't be surprised when we ask for town councils. Good point. Good point. All right. Basically, it sounds like we need the assistance of town council when brightened up, uh, backing up the writing of the enforcement order requiring the restoration. Keep in mind, too, that it can't be uh, issued as long as our order is ratified by the majority of the commission at the next scheduled meeting. Yeah. Yes, I can, I can submit it in an emergency, yeah. and then you will need to ratify it. Right, right. Yeah. And we're not going to have another meeting until when? September 19th. September 19th. Yeah. So That's but, a long time. So, yeah. Well, we tried. I mean, yeah. I went out there immediately after I was called. Yeah. And, and I'm not we've happy been out there it. before, so. We have several times, I yeah. think, yeah. So, um, I mean, he, he just ignores us and, and that's hopes not okay. we go away. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think it's time to get legal counsel on it. Right. And if necessary, go to Superior Court. Yeah, because I mean, not only... I don't want to do it, but I mean, if they ignore us, I mean, there's no way I can drag him in here and make him do anything, so... Yeah, the people who had told me about it said that, you know, they were worried about cadmium becoming airborne if it were dried out because mm -hmm. he's putting it on the shore. Yeah. And there are Jersey barriers and such. Hmm? The violation's not small or subtle. No, though. no. It's pretty egregious. Yeah. And then I went back and I looked at the aerial photos and it looks like a bunch of trees were cut down several years ago, probably around the time that, well, I, I think it may have been before we sent the first violation letter, but I'm not certain. Yeah. So. Okay, but just keep everybody up the chain mm -hmm. in the loop. Okay. Good. And if we you need me, much. you know, keep me like Rich wants to talk. Rich, we can't hear you. Oh, um, I'm concerned that he's disturbed the soil and he's got it sitting on the land there. But and we can't uh, hear you. Wait a minute, wait a minute Rich. Uber. The cleaners have started the vacuum cleaner out in the hall. Oh. Yeah, that's not okay. helping. Okay. Uh, I'm. My biggest concern is the the uh, soil that he's removed. Um, and put yes. it on the shore. Um, in any order we give them, I, I think that needs to be required to be tested as well as covered so it doesn't continue to be uh, rained on and, and uh, uh, leaching back into the water in a more free foam state than stuck in the soil. I mean, he's, he's dug that hole pretty deep. Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. I would, uh, I'm as equally concerned with the fact that he's planning on having big equipment come in there because clearly he wasn't making the progress he wants to. 
Um, Cause it, I'm guessing that he would, he, he's looking to try and make, uh, you know, access for a boat or something from his land a little bit better. It's the only reason you'd dredge it. Oh, okay. Dred dredging is a real issue. I think he has cut down trees and, all right. If he, yeah, if he's putting the soil up on his his property, then he's exposing any submerged cavity. So, yeah, got problems. And it's question. And it's questionable whether it's even on his property. I don't know. You know, I don't know where he's putting it. I know the his point. I don't know if anybody saw the um, the plot plan that uh, uh, Jane put out. But his his uh, lot is like a. Uh, triangle very sharp triangle so he's got a very little tiny piece of his property is is uh, just at the water okay so to the extent he goes to either side of that little triangle and it's a narrow triangle um, he's also dumping and polluting someone else's uh, land as well well it looks like he's working on the abutters property actually mm. yeah it does um and they used to have a very long walkway I'm assuming too for for boat but um, the land underneath the water could well maybe not maybe this isn't but um, it's possible that it could be the town's property it's under it's in the Neponset oh. right, right. We'd have he's to got get the, the uh, huge, property huge lines Jersey barriers down there I don't know how we got the Jersey, Jersey barriers all the way down there, yep <clears throat> the equipment that, those are those are monsters oh yeah yeah, and uh, and uh, who's this? I mean, have, have you talked to the neighbor? Try to talk to the neighbor <clears throat> on either side where he's dumping the land. Well, no, we didn't go that far. It was pouring. We got my yeah. hair looks like this because okay. it got totally right. wet. My umbrella started to leak. Uh. It was raining so hard. We really planned it perfect. Perfectly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and everyone's well, been Bob, everyone's be been anonymous so far. I I think <laughs> everyone's hesitant to get involved in. It. Quite honestly, because everyone's spoken to us on an anonymous basis. So. Yes, and we rely on people to oh, be yeah. our eyes and ears because sure. we can't be out there all the time. And Absolutely. so, I mean, I'm not going to rat on the people who yeah. tell if there's a, a concern. And, and we have a lot of informal stewards yeah. who keep track of the properties and tell me when there's problems. And, and I welcome it. So... Um, I, I will defend there. Oh yes, very definitely. So, all right, well keep me informed, Jane. And, all right. Uh, if you want me to talk to Bill or if it comes to that, be happy to make the trip up real quick like and talk. Okay, like I said, I have to put all my ducks in a row. Yeah. This is okay. not something that's a simple thing. Yeah. The police officer said she took the, um, I had several copies of the violation letter Okay. And she took a copy of the violation letter just for her reference and such, and she's going to um, write up a, a, brief a brief report. Yeah. But she said if it, um, she was very helpful. Um, Document our visit. Megan Allen. Okay. And she said that if we needed any more assistance to uh, give her a holler. Okay, good. So I think we did everything right. We covered our tails. We followed the administrative procedure. and. Now I just got to make sure that we are completely following it. Okay, good. And I did put together a little. Yes, I saw you. Pictorial. Pictorial. Yes. Very disturbing. It's very, very. And the thing is, it looked like it had been um, <clears throat> vegetated at one point, <laughs> <laughs> which is why I wasn't really chasing them down in a big way because got to prioritize and. Yep. It was vegetated, but now it is definitely not. Okay. All right. Anything else? So, um, in helping Jane out, I've con um, I've contacted the Foxborough Country Club with regard to that project at the 16th hole yep. of the mm -hmm. pond, because mm -hmm. they have not contacted her. They were planning to do it this summer, late summer, when the driest time of the year. Yeah. Okay. Which, this you know, these last two <laughs> months. <laughs> uh, these last two months. Um, yeah. And uh, they were at least in the yard, or it says, like all the orders, that if you have to put up erosion control, yeah. 
that you need to have Jane come inspect down, it, yeah. inspect it before you proceed. Mm. And she's not getting that call. Yeah. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to follow up okay. because she's got I, this I have an here. idea. They were thinking uh, after probably Labor Day when they, I, I don't think they right. plan to start in August. Right. Uh, because too many golfers are out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can't. Can't stop progress, no. but, um, but it, so I'm. You can't stop golfers. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> My dad was a golfer. I oh. understand these things. Yeah. So I'm assuming that they were talking uh, late September, early October, which. I just wanted to let them yeah. know that you know. We're, we're watching. Okay. We're watching. Okay. Very good. And the same thing too is the state project there on 95 South. Yeah. Would have put in better leaching facilities, you know, for yeah. the stormwater drainage. Yeah. They're supposed to contact the office that they, you know, that they're going to start, or the contractor is. Mm -hmm. And Jane says they haven't done it, but you've seen all the silt barriers yeah. out there. Yeah. So that's along the roadway, though. I don't know if that's part of where they were going to be doing any of the work. I think they were supposed to be working down there either. So. I and I looked down July. Walnut Street, and I didn't see any kind of staging or anything like that. So I'm thinking that must be something else. Okay, well, I was just wondering where, but if you drive down 140 going towards Walnut Street, they got the. I know. I saw it. I looked oh, this morning. Yeah. yeah, they got okay. the they got the whole area that they're planning to work on. But I think they got more, more. than enough. Yeah, more than so. More than ample. And yep. I don't know where they're going to put their trailer. It's either probably in the um, like a turnout. Yeah. Uh, in, well, right. it's either off 140 down that road that they're going to uh, open up to get to for maintenance purposes mm -hmm. in, in down there by the brook and everything. Yeah. Or they're going to put it up behind the low income housing. I don't think they're going to do it up there. I think it'll probably be down, but I don't know. It could be, but the, where low income housing is, it's state line butts yeah. right up against the town's yeah. land. Maybe. There's a road, one of the driveways goes right up to it. Yeah. Affordable housing. Yeah, I know. Yep. No. Uh, yeah. Affordable. Not, a, not low income, affordable. Okay. Technical. All right. Anything else? that I can think of, that's enough. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion to, to adjourn home. the meeting. What's that, Rich? Second. I, I said I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Okay. Second. Discussion, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? None?